Okay. Are you ready? It's time to go to the vet. You can't run from me. We're going to the vet. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. So today, these two, Nymeria and Casper, will be going to the vet. Are you excited, Casper? You get some shots today. Here you go, Nymeria. Here, you just jump in. Make it easy on me, please. Come on, jump in. Why, thank you so much. All right, the cats are secured. So we got Lawson secured in her car seat. Are you ready, Casper? Okay, we're going. You ready, Blossom? Yes, let's go. <coughs> Casper was doing a lot better the last time we were in the car when I first brought him home. He doesn't seem too happy right now. And neither is my Nymeria. We're literally only 10 minutes away, okay? Casper. Is everything okay? No. And Miria, you can get out, you know. Casper's already exploring. And Miria, you can come out if you want to. I'll take that as a no, maybe. No, leave Blossom alone. No, she was sleeping a second ago. Oh, well, not anymore. No, leave her alone. I said leave her alone. No. We're almost done. Here we are. Casper, you have your own carrier. Go get in your own. I don't think Nymeria is going to want to share. <laughs> Casper, I told you to leave her alone. Go to your own carrier. We are back home. And Casper did not like the vet, that's for sure. Nymeria was not a fan either. I'm sorry, baby. So it is now Friday, and these little kittens think they're old enough to start exploring more. So instead of being in this little pop-up tent, we're going to move them to the playpen tomorrow. Then you guys can start moving around more. That would be great, right? Yeah. Since I have all five here right now, I can talk to you guys more about their names. So the littlest one over here is Cosmo. He's a boy. This is Charlie, also a boy. And then the other three are girls. We have the pink one here is Cleo. This one in the teal turquoise colored collar is Cookie. And then the purple girl is Clover. So these are the five babies. So it's the next morning and it is now time to move these little babies. Are you guys gonna come to me or do I have to come get you? I guess I'm gonna have to come get you. Okay, I'm coming for you little ones. I'll move this. Oh no, she's bringing us away from the corner. Whenever I want to move the babies, I usually put them in this cat bed because that makes it easy to transport them to different places. Here we got Cookie, first baby. Next we got Cleo, pink collar girl. And these three that were in the corner, we have Clover. So here's the three girls. And then we got Charlie, my boy. And the last smallest boy is Cosmo. So now I have them all in this little cat bed and I can take them to the other room. Hello, babies. 
This is gonna be your new little house that I have for you. You guys are gonna stay in there. And then this is a playpen that when they want to start venturing out, they'll stay in this confined area. So let's go. I know, let's go in there. Sometimes since they're still so young and their claws don't actually retract like other kittens or like other adult cats, sometimes they get caught on the bed. But this is just a quick way to move you. Here you go, Cosmo. Come on, kitty. You guys are so cute. Oh, sorry. And last one, Cookie. Go on in. <gasps> there we go. You're all in your new home. Let's check you out. <gasps> Look at these cute little babies. They're like, what have you done? This isn't our tent. I know, this is your new home. But you guys, once you're big enough, you can come out of this little house and you guys can walk around and explore. Yeah. I'll be back and then I'll bring you your mama, okay? Casper, get out of here. What do you think you're doing? You're not allowed in here. Go on. Summer, your babies are this way. Yeah? No, Alba, go away. Come on, Summer. Look, they're in there. Oh, just cats running everywhere. Go on, Summer. This is gonna be their new hangout spot. Yep. And then I can close this door and whenever Summer wants to get out, she can jump on top of that to get out. Yeah. It took Summer a few seconds to realize what was happening and accept that this is going to be their new spot. But she started to lay down and now the babies are going to crawl all over her. This man out here, he's won't leave us alone in here. Casper's just so confused. He's like, let me in. No, Casper. This isn't for you. You can't come in here. No, you have to stay out there. No, I'm sorry. This is only for Summer and her babies, not for you. Okay, Summer, I'm gonna go downstairs, okay? You take care of the little ones. Hey, I need you to come downstairs. Yes, you. This is another reason why I had to move the kittens into the other uh, spot because Casper loves this tent. He thinks it's so fun to play with and mess up the puppy pee pads. So now in the playpen, at least he can't get in there. Hey, you, we have to go downstairs. Are you listening to me? I'll take that as a no. Okay, I'm coming to get you. You, yes, you. Come on, let's go downstairs. Hey, you, oh my goodness. Well, I got him out of my room at least. Sorry, Summer. He's chaos. So fast though. Go! Run! Go quick! Downstairs! Go on! So the next thing I'm gonna do, and the reason why I wanted Casper to come downstairs, is I'm gonna do his genetic test now. So this is from Optimal Selection, which I usually like to get their genetic tests because they do 15% off for TICA members. So that's why I usually get theirs. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take two swabs of the inside of Casper's mouth, and then I'm gonna send those two samples back to Optimal Selection, and they'll actually send me a report that'll tell me if he has any genetic diseases. They'll also tell me his coat color, as well as his blood type. They'll also say like a couple other physical characteristics that he'll have. Hey, come here. We are gonna do your test. Okay, you're not gonna like this, ah! but I gotta get a swab of your saliva. Actually, you're doing really good. Lick all over that. Okay, you we definitely got enough saliva on that one. All right, here's the second swab. Oh, be still. Lick it. Doesn't that brush taste good? He's like, get this thing away from me just a little bit more. Okay, that's probably good. All right, you did so good. Okay, now we have to let these dry and then we'll put them back in the bag.
Okay, so I think it's been five minutes. Now we're gonna take these two swaps, put them back in their little container. Hopefully they're dry. <laughs> I think they are though, it's been about five minutes. Then we put our sample back in here and then I'm gonna mail this back to Optimal Selection. So when I was in college, I used to have these type of lights hung up in my room, which I know they're actually meant for outdoors, but I used to just love having them in my room and I felt like all my cats love them too. So I think I'm actually gonna put them up in here where the kittens are now because I think they'll love looking at the lights and I know Blossom loves looking at lights too. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, Casper, let's go in. Here are the pretty lights. Hello, babies. Hi. Hello. Okay, Casper, we're gonna end our vlog. Say goodbye to everyone.